Pro Player Club changes, the end of the Super Sunday series, and leagues are coming to a store near you. It's October 8th, I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this is Split Second. Hello everyone, and we're here live from the floor of GP Atlanta for a special edition of Split Second. On Thursday, Director of Global Organized Play, Helene Brigeau, posted an article on the state of organized play. In the article, Brigeau goes over some of the changes that were made at Pro Tour Eldritch Moon, including electronically submitted deck lists, processes to limit the ability to scout what other players were playing, and attempts to reduce intentional concessions in the final rounds of the event. While the deck list and scouting measures that were put in place will continue with Pro Tour Kaladesh, they will be removing the intentional pairings in Round 15 and 16, which caused delays in the tournament. Brigeau goes on to announce changes to the Pro Tour Players Club. Previously, the Pro Points threshold for Silver was 18, which is being raised to 20, Gold was 33 and is now 35, and Platinum was 50 and is now 52. These changes are an attempt to balance out the extra Pro Points that are being awarded at Grand Prix events now that more players are making Day 2 with an X and 3 cutoff as opposed to the previous X and 2 cutoff. These changes are effective immediately. Another change is the removal of the Super Sunday series from Grand Prix events. The Super Sunday series allowed players to compete for the chance to play in a championship event held at Wizards of the Coast's headquarters in Renton, Washington. The series is being discontinued due to the fact that it's typically the last event that is finishing on Sunday night, as the venue is being torn down. The final Super Sunday series event will be at Grand Prix Milwaukee in December, with the final championship being held January 6th and 7th of next year. For those players who are planning to attend the Triple Grand Prix weekend taking place in Las Vegas during the week of June 12th next year, there has been a slight change to the lineup. Previously, it was announced that there would be standard, modern, and legacy main events staggered to start on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Due to feedback from players, these events have been changed to legacy starting on Thursday, limited starting on Friday, and modern starting on Saturday. During Pro Tour Eldritch Moon, an announcement was made about the creation of the Pro Tour Team Series. This series is an attempt to solidify the rosters of the many teams that are created to test for an upcoming Pro Tour event, which tend to vary from event to event. When the announcement was made, it was required that teams consist of nine players that remained the same for the duration of the tournament year. According to the update from Brigeau, many players from spread out or less populated regions provided feedback about the limiting factors of requiring nine players, so the limit has been lowered to six players per team. The final announcement in the article is that the 2017 Magic World Championship will take place on October 5th through the 8th at the Castle at Plaza Park in Boston, Massachusetts. Make sure to check out the full article over at Daily MTG. On Friday, an announcement was posted to the Magic homepage stating that in-store leagues will be launching in the near future. Leagues will allow players to build a 30-card deck out of three packs, adding an extra pack each week that they play in the league or when they receive three losses. Each league will last four weeks. An early playtest version of the system will start soon, with a preview season to follow after the release of Ether Revolt and fully launching with the release of Amonkhet. You can find out more about it in-store leagues at Daily MTG. That's our show for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.